Where do I start? Where do I start, guys? First, I want to say um, R.I.P. R.I.P. to White Ranger, Tommy Oliver. Okay. Um, man, I just didn't have the time to kind of to really get into it at the moment or when it happened. So now I have the time and, you know, I really, I really personally just am, it was a big hit for me. Um, I know other, like there have been big hits, you know, certain people passing away and I, I, I always feel it. I always feel it, you know, um, when important people pass away and, you know, Tommy, Tommy was a big one because it, I always I identified with the anti-hero. And if I'm not mistaken, I mean, it's been probably over 25 years since I've watched the Power Rangers. But it was such a monumental aspect of my growing up and my development and you know, I would get suspended every year for fighting and I was fighting because I was pretending to be the Green Ranger or the White Ranger. And I remember how big it was on the playing field, on the recess playing field to pick which Ranger you were. You know, I want to be the Red Ranger. I want to be. The... So in other words, if I'm going to say correctly. Tommy has influenced an entire generation. I would say that the majority of the millennial generation, which is my generation, we, you know, especially if you're like, I'm late 80s, I'm 88. So if you were a kid in the 90s and you were in that vibe of Power Rangers, you know how monumental it was, you know, every Saturday morning watching the Power Rangers on Fox. And you remember how amazing it was. And I remember when he first came out, he was the Green Ranger and we weren't sure. I think the Green Ranger was fighting the Power Rangers for a little bit and then he changed sides and then he had that amazing flute that summoned the, the green Megazord, which is almost like a Godzilla or a Mecha Godzilla, but it was green. So it was closer to the Godzilla and it had the missile fingers. And I always thought the missile fingers were the most amazing um most amazing thing I've ever seen. I mean, I, I love Transformers 2. You know, I, I love Beast Wars and all of that. But I loved Tommy's character. I loved his Megazord. And then he became the White Ranger. He became purified because the Green Ranger was almost like... <coughs> Green Ranger was almost like representing the bad side and the White Ranger. So it was just a duality aspect. So there's a lot of things I'm looking at and I'm talking about it now as an adult, but you know, these were definitely things that I picked up on as a child and I identified and he was my favorite. He was my favorite Power Ranger. And, um, you know, it sucks that he passed. And I just wanted to speak about as much as I'm, you know, I'm kind of going off different random tangents and how it affects me and how, how much I loved it. You know, I even had the toy, the White Ranger toy, which got lost. I'm pretty sure I had Megazord, like the, um, one of the, I had some Megazords up there, you know. Mama made sure that I had Megazords, but they gave all those toys away, unfortunately. So the thing with Tommy is, you know, I know that the information regarding how he passed came through. And I actually made a post on, on Instagram that got like 300 likes or whatever to something, 250 plus on the comment. And it was essentially saying that, you know, men, you know, you can't let whoever's around you get you to that point where you feel like you have to end it. So I don't know the particular details personally. I don't know the man personally. Well, from what I understand and what information is available is that he did. He's the one that decided that he was going to go, essentially. And I think that he was going through some sort of divorce. And, you know, I think that definitely affected him. Maybe separation from children. I personally, you know, I had, I was raised by my mom, but my, my dad did not want to take care of me. You know, it was not a responsibility that he wanted to take on. So 
it affects what I'm saying. The reason I'm saying that is because these sort of situations affect different men differently. Some don't care and some really do care. And I think he was just at a point where he felt like he had nowhere to turn. Maybe he felt like he had no one to talk to. I know that in various situations from my relationships, I've been in situations where I felt like I had no one to talk to about what I was going through. And as a man, that's something that we do go through a lot. We go through situations where we, this is a male thing. This is something all males deal with, whether they admit to it or not, or whether they deny it to themselves personally or not. We have to go through our losses and our shakeups and our traumatizing, life-changing events on our own. And even though, you know, he was touring around the world, you know, going to different events and promoting being that ranger and people coming to see him as a fan and him having global recognition and global fanship and success in his career through longevity. I mean, like people were still coming to like fan expos and video game comic cons and all these things to see him recently. Like this is like people, you know, our whole generation millennials, we really grew up on this guy. So, you know, it's, it's sad to see. It is definitely sad to see. Um, and I just wanted to almost touch base with saying that if you are going through a situation and regardless of how you are feeling about that situation, it is never. And again, I'm not judging the man based on his choice, but I'm saying that I have been in the dark pits of despair, you know, emotionally. And, you know, the feeling of loss, I'm well acquainted with that. And the feeling of not knowing who to turn to or not, you know, maybe he developed a relationship with these children and now they're being ripped away from him with no logical sight saying that, oh, I'm going to be able to do. I don't know. Again, I like to emphasize, I don't know the particular details of his situation, but I know the main ones being that he got a divorce and he's not able to see his kids. And I, I, clearly this affected him. So I just want to kind of say that, you know, men, when you are in that situation, it's never worth it. Whatever negative outcome, whatever negative space that you are in and whatever negative ideas that perpetrate you in and, and penetrate you in those, in those times of despair, in those times of, of not knowing what I'm going to, what, what outcome is, or if you know what the outcome is and you see that you can't live with that outcome, you have to understand that life itself is not something that we know is going to happen in the sense that I'm saying that something can change, you know, you, you know, the, I'm, I'm an optimist, you know, I got Jupiter in the third house, Gemini and Jupiter. I'm a very optimistic person. And I've met in my life, not many that are like myself personally, personally, most people that I've met cannot attain the optimism and maintain it at the level that I do, even in the face of loss, destruction, and, and, and transformation. And, you know, even though our friend Tommy has transitioned to the next life, to the next, to the next stage, you know, we will all miss him. We will all, all of us fans of, 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 of Power Rangers, we will all miss him. We will all look back. And it's a reminder to us, like, man, life is short. Life is short. And even the most powerful person, you know, as a child, like we all thought that, Tommy, you know, the Green Ranger, the White Ranger was the most powerful Red Ranger. No, you know, I haven't watched the Power Rangers movie in the 90s, you know, because the White Ranger was in it, because his suit looked jacked up versus the television show. I'm like, I got to watch that, you know. And it was an inspirational time. The 90s were an inspirational time for us millennials. And, you know, I respect Tommy, what he, the legacy that he left behind of martial arts, of Power Rangers, of that iconic character. And we're going to miss him, but we didn't need to. 
you know, we didn't need to be in the situation where he has to, we, he can't, he doesn't have to be there anymore. You know, we can look at this life and appreciate what we have. And I'm not saying that he didn't do those things. I'm sure he appreciated every moment up until the point where he just felt like he had enough. And, you know, that is where as men, we need to remember that whatever situation we're in, you know, if it's going to bring you to the point where you feel like you, you want to do something like that, you need to get out of the situation. You know, if you feel like the person that you're with has the propensity, the capability of making you feel like you need to commit to, I'm not going to say the whole word, but you're going to, you know, end your, end your life on your, on your time as opposed to God's time. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to realize that it is never worth it. If there's not one point from beginning to end, there's not one person, there's not one desire, there's not one uh, material item, there's no amount of money that is going to bring your life back. That is, that, is, that is a replacement for your life. Your life is your life. Your life is what God gave you, and that's all you have. So if you're in a situation where you see somebody like that, or you see somebody treating you in a sense that you feel like they're, they're bringing me to the edge. I cannot, I cannot maintain my life with this person. Or you need to leave because you don't want to be in a situation like, you know, like Tommy, where you're already with the person. And now it's gone to the point where your whole life is wrapped up. And now you're married to the person. And now they're taking whatever you had with them with them. You know, and for somebody who, somebody who is, is in, is in the public eye, you know, and who has fame and fortune, I'm not saying he was rich, but I'm saying recognition, fortunately, you know, um, you may look at your life and be like, man, my kids are more important than all of that. And then if that gets taken away from you, then then you don't have nothing left. So <laughs> I'm just saying <clears throat> I'm just saying, guys, that, you know, Tommy will always be respected and loved and, and admired by all of his fans all across, across the world, including myself. Unfortunately, I never got to see him in person. I'm not somebody that really goes to these events and comic cons and stuff, even though I'm a nerd. I, I, I just not, you know, you got to go there with money. You got to go there with the expectation to spend money. And it's never been my thing personally. Um, I wish I got to meet him because I remember when we were kids, uh, we, they, they said the Power Rangers came to the like little, just little, uh, not, not even outlet mall, but little shop mall, grocery mall, if you want to call it that I grew up around high point, it was called high point mall. And then the Power Rangers come there and, um, it, there wasn't a real Power Ranger. So when I was a kid, like I really wanted to meet this guy and obviously like at the time was we grow up and, you know. But it's unfortunate because he was very active in, in, in the community and, and, and a very, you know, good person. From what I collect and, and just looking at just what the vibe that he left with the world and his work, I think he was a very good person. And it's unfortunate that, you know, these situations have to come in order to even remind myself, like, nobody is worth your life. You know, I, I don't, I can't emphasize it. No relationship. And I'm even talking spiritually, no God, no man, woman, or God, or money amount, physical, anything is worth your spirit, is worth, is worth getting you to that point. So just stay, stay loving yourself, my friends, stay, um, stay positive, stay encouraging yourself. You know, if someone comes into your space and they and they are not encouraging you to do what you need to do, that you need to get them out of your life. If they're doing the opposite, which is even worse, if they are not, you know, it's one thing you get encouraged. It's another thing you get silence. And it's another thing even worse, you get put down. So if there is someone in your life right now that's putting somebody down. It's putting you down. It's putting your dreams, your goals, and aspirations down. Wipe that out. Wipe that out of your life. Wipe that out. Get rid of that. You don't need that. You don't want that. And that's that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm not here 
to promote anything except your mental well-being, your mental health, your happiness. You know, I've been through enough to be able to say, hey, you know, I know how to get out of a lot of situations emotionally. I know how to get a, get out of a lot of situations mentally. But as you can see, it doesn't matter how powerful you are. It doesn't matter how loved you are. It doesn't matter how famous you are. It doesn't matter how much money you have. If you are not, if you are not, you know, at complete balance within yourself, and in love with yourself enough to not hurt yourself, to not put yourself in compromising situations that can potentially damage you, then you're doing you're doing yourself a disservice. And ultimately, you know, the greatest, as as Jesus has said, the greatest among us are servants. So you need to serve yourself before you can serve the world. You can serve the world and then when it's time for you to get your stuff together or you to, 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 to have something to stand on, where, where did this, who could he have turned to? He served everybody else. He served all of us with that energy, with that white ranger energy, with that green ranger energy that as kids made us think that we could do anything. He gave that energy to us so that we could do the same moving forward in the world. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. You know, is is again, it's an unfortunate thing. Um, you know, all respects due to his family, and I hope that they, I hope that they recover from and heal from this time, because you know it's it's sad, man. I loved the Green Ranger that flew, the Dragon Megazord. That was everything for me for like. You know, three, four, five, six. That was everything for me. He's seven, eight. Oh, man. And then, you know, you grow up, you become an adult, and then you get to see, you know, from the adult eyes, and you look at, you know, the people that you looked up to as, as, a, as a child when you're an adult. Now they're adults, and then they do something that's an adult decision. And, you know, I just thought I had to speak on it because... He definitely impacted my life in a major way. And um, I just got to show my respect and pay my respect and, you know, push it forward. So, yeah, if you if you just like I said, if I reiterate, if you're in a situation with people. And that's what you see. You see that negativity, you run. I'm not joking. I've had people that knew me from high school that admitted they wanted to shoot me. You know, people, I'm, I'm going to be honest and say that people don't just say, don't just say what they say. They, they, most of the time when people say something it's th that they say is because they mean what they say. They feel whatever people present to you is a part of who they are, positive or negative. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, you know, when someone tells me, they want to get, they wanted to get rid of me. And that only means that they want to, that desire never leaves at the end of the day. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make this about me. I'm just saying realistically, things like this don't happen overnight. I'm sure he saw many signs, you know, and I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. But sometimes we're in situations, life happens fast, you know, we make our decisions. But it, like I said, if I just want to repeat it one last time, guys, there is no person, no God, no woman, no man, no amount of money, no physical item, no desire fulfilled that is worth more than your life. So always respect your life, pay attention to your life, honor your life, honor yourself, love yourself. And until next time, guys, this is the Mars Mindset.